do anything right? No. What? Every morning. Hello. Who is this? I have to go. What's going on? I gotta go. Check on something. Where are you going? I have to go. Who was that on the phone? We have no milk. And I can't do everything. I'm not asking you to do everything. I'm asking you just to take care of your family a little bit here. Take care of my family? I'm not helping my family? How are you helping our family? I'm looking for a job. I'm trying to provide for our family. You don't seem like you're trying very hard at all. I'm trying as hard as I can. There's no jobs out there. Yeah, no jobs out there. Speaking of which, I have to get to work. You go out and do something. It's a it's a prison around here! But your family needs you here! My family! You need me! The kids need me! Everybody needs me to do something! I don't have a job! What am I supposed to do? You can't be strolling in here at 3 o'clock in the morning! Why can I come in here whenever I want to? They don't do anything for me! You think you're my family? You know I don't do anything! You're a burden around my neck! I'll be back. When? Someday. Someday soon? Someday. I'm gonna miss you, Dad. I'm gonna miss you too, Dad. You guys too. You missed her? Where's my mom? I'll get her. Joe! Can can I come in? Yeah, sure. Come on in. Okay. So, uh, who's the, uh, who's the big guy? Yeah, uh, that's, that's just Michael. It's kind of hard to explain. I got a call this morning from your house, and it was Dad. No, he, he couldn't have called. So he's here. Did you want to see him? 25 years ago, he walks out on me, on us. I know. I don't want to see him. Your dad has Alzheimer's. He doesn't recognize anyone. He doesn't know where he is. It's bad. Joe, your dad needs us. I guess I could go up. Yeah. See. See what he looks like. <laughs> Michael's up there with you. It'll be all right. So you just picked up the phone, figured you'd give me a call. Makes no sense. You know, I don't mean to interfere, but I think I might know what happened. Mr. Randall has a habit of playing with the phone. He 
goes through the program numbers and he randomly calls people. Sometimes he says a few words. The other day I caught him, I caught him talking to a pizza place. I had to take the phone away from him. You know, he's kind of, he's kind of like a kid. It's, it's hard to keep an eye on him every second of the day. He's a slippery old guy. That's a good word for him. Slippery. The call may not have been on purpose. But at least you have some time to spend with your father. I never did get to meet mine. He died before I was born. And how do you know this was a mistake? I guess. You know, life's messy. But God's with us all the time. Even when people are doing dumb things or bad things to hurt us. You know, your mom told me your dad was in the Vietnam War when he was just a kid, just 19 years old. You know, maybe he saw some stuff over there that messed with his mind big time. Maybe that's what messed him up. I don't know. You'll probably never know. I'm gonna take a break. I'll be downstairs if you need me. You hear me, old man? It's me, Joel. Your son. Do you have any idea, 25 years ago, what you did to us? Mom cried herself to sleep so many nights. You're the best dad in the world. By a long shot. But at least you were mine. Say something. You're embarrassing. You've missed everything. I got my job that I wanted. I got married. You have a granddaughter. You missed it! You missed all of it! You missed it! You missed it! Someday...